Hey guys, so this is my 11 and 12 week update. Um, I didn't get around to making one last week. Um, Thursday night, I my weeks turn over on Fridays. And I left my phone at work Thursday night and I was like, oh. So I didn't have a phone at all. And um, that was my last day of 11 weeks and I was going to do one, but obviously I didn't have my phone. So, um, this is my 11 week and 12 week. Um, I will be 13 weeks on Friday. It is currently Wednesday. So, I have quite a bit to update you guys on. Lots of exciting stuff. Lots of, just a lot. So, let me get started. I don't have anything written down, so hopefully this video is not too, like, sloppy. But, so, last Tuesday... I was 11 weeks, and I was <laughs> going to work. Um, my husband was ahead of me on the stairs, and I seriously lost my footing and slipped down like four or five steps um, on my back. And I was really, really worried, really worried. Um, my doctor's nurse, she told me not to really worry about it too much, but I couldn't help it. I was just freaking out, so I went to the ER, and... They did like a regular pelvic exam and then they did um, the heartbeat, which I, I guess I could have done it at home. I wasn't really, I was just so worried. I just wanted to see the baby, but they didn't do an ultrasound anyway. They um, did the heartbeat with the um, Doppler and I actually had to find it because the nurse couldn't find it. Um, but I have one at home and I usually know around where the baby is and what angle and all that. So I found the baby's heartbeat. And she said it was good. It was what it was supposed to be at. And my doctor wanted to see me the next day. So um, me and my friend Amanda went ahead and went to my doctor's appointment because my husband, um, he would, uh, he had to sleep because he works third shift. So um, my friend took me and he did an ultrasound and baby looked great. Um, it just went crazy. It like, when he first did the ultrasound, it like twitched. And then he kept doing it, and it, like, balled itself up and, like, sprung, pretty much. <laughs> it was just crazy. Um, he said that baby looked great, and um, I'm allowed to go off the progesterone on Friday, finally. And, more exciting news, I had a blood test. And this blood test was to check for Down syndrome and gender so I will know the gender any day now it's been seven days and my doctor said seven to ten days so me and my husband will know the gender any day now and we're having a gender reveal party next um, Sunday not this coming Sunday but the next um, so I'm gonna have somebody film us opening our cake because it's gonna be the cake of pink or blue and we're super excited. I was hoping I'd get the call today because it's been seven days, but not yet. So I'm just waiting and trying not to call them because they're like, just so you know, if you get anxious, we will give you a call when we get the results. So you could tell they like don't want you to call because probably a million women call when they have that blood test. But I am just like so excited. I'm so sorry. I always have crappy lighting, but I always do my updates at night because I work during the day. Um, but, yeah, so, we're about to find out the gender, guys. I'm 12 weeks, and we're about to find out the gender. So, that's crazy and awesome, and I'm so excited. I really think it's a boy, because, one, I never puked. I haven't puked yet. Um, so, usually you get more sick with girls, is what I've heard. And, I don't know, I just think it's a boy really bad, but if, if it's a girl... That's cool with me, too, because really, like, I do have a little bit more, like, preference, a little bit towards a girl. But at the same time, it's like, I want a boy. Because, like, all my friends just had girls, and it would be nice to have a boy. But at the same time, all my friends just had girls, and it would be nice to have a girl. And it's like, I don't know. I really don't have a preference, because I, I really enjoy either or. But I just have a strong feeling that it is a boy. If it's a girl, I'll be really surprised. Um, so another update is um, with symptoms. Um, my nausea has been pretty good. 
Um, I really haven't gotten nauseated, except for like certain smells and things like that still. Um, and I had a cold sweat the other night in the middle of the night. And my stomach was just upset and I had, was cold sweating and I'm like, oh, this is not right. And then I woke up in the morning and had diarrhea really bad. So I think that's sort of what that was, but again, you can have cold sweats anyway. And um, I'm having cravings really bad. Like today and yes, maybe it was just today. Excuse me. I have been craving a salami sandwich with a ton of mustard all day. Um, and I know you're not supposed to have lunch meat, but I read up on it, and you're allowed to if you heat it up. Um, so whenever I do get my salami sandwich, because I am going to get it one of these days, I'm just going to warm it up and then let it get cold again in the fridge because I can't eat hot lunch meat. But I mean, I can eat it if it's like at Subway because I looked up Subway and you're allowed to eat it if you toast your sub um, because it'll kill the bacteria that is endless. It'll kill the listeria bacteria. So you can eat it that way, but you can't, you're not supposed to, you can eat it, but you're not supposed to eat um, lunch meat. It's kind of like you're not supposed to eat cookie dough because of the salmonella or whatever, how you say it. So, yeah, that's really it. Oh no, my boobs, okay? Ridiculous. First of all, um, last weekend, I think, maybe? Or the weekend before. Uh, no, weekend before because I'm about to get paid and it was pay week. So it was la not last weekend but the weekend before. I had to buy a new bra because my bra was like cutting in right here into my armpit. I was like, oh my gosh, I got to get a new bra. So I went to Walmart because I'm a Walmart shopper. I buy everything at Walmart. <laughs> um, and none of them fit. I'm like... Okay, tri or a double D's not fitting it at Walmart. What am I going to do? I'm like, I have to pay $30, $40 for a bra at a, at a store because I don't fit in a tr double D here. So we went to this store called Len Bryant. It's like a plus size store. Um, so we went there and um, I got fitted and I am in a triple D. I went up an entire cup size already. Um, and this bra, mind you, was looser when I first bought it. Um, so, oops, there goes the battery. Um, yeah, so, ridiculous. I'm still breaking out. Can't really tell because it's dark, but I have a nice big zit there. And uh, I think that's pretty much it for symptoms. Baby, I don't have my fruit again. Sometimes I have it, sometimes I don't. Um, baby's about the size of plum, which is about two to three inches. Um, I would say more towards three since I'm pretty much at the end of 12 weeks, but, um, so that's pretty darn big. I mean, that's, that's all about, you know, that's big. Um, so, and baby is moving a lot. Like on the, um, Doppler, you'll hold it perfectly still and you'll hear that heartbeat and then you'll just hear, shoo, shoo. And then you'll hear like little ain, eh, like the sound it makes when you move it. But I'm not moving it. It's like from the inside. So I think baby's moving like a lot. And the heartbeat will fade as you hear those noises. Um, so, um, that's pretty much it. Baby, um, all organs are um, there. Um, they're just like keep developing and you know all that. So, yep. And my mom bought me this at my aunt's yard sale. It's really cute. It has a snowman and pants and it's 12 months and baby will be 8 months old um, on its first Christmas so I'm guessing that this should probably fit. Um, and it's kind of gender neutral. I mean it has a little bit of pink around the snowman but you know I am not that worried about a little bit of pink. So, this should fit around that time, especially once I wash it. Plus, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a chunky baby because me and my husband were both chunky little babies. So, um, I guess that is just about it. Um, I can't really think of any more. Oh, I've been, oh, um, 
back in my symptoms too. I'm craving Chipotle really bad. I want Chipotle with a lot of chicken and beans and just, ugh. It's so bad, guys. I hate these cravings. It's like, and I can't even, like, I don't drive, so I can't just go and get it or, I, and who has the money to do that every time? Like, it sucks, but I guess that's it, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and do my belly shot. Alright guys, so I really do feel as though there's a change. Um, last week I really felt like I started like popping a little bit more. I know I say that almost every belly shot, but I don't know, you guys just tell me what you think. Let me pull down my pants here because I'm wearing jeans so, or khakis. So, here's from this side. I don't know, it definitely looks like it to me and to my husband. So at least it's not just me seeing it. So that's from that side, it's from the front, and from the other side. So, yeah guys, that's my 11 and 12 week update. Next week, second trimester, I'm so excited, I can't believe this is it. This is the final few days of this first trimester, and it's over, and like, not that you're not, still not going to get nervous sometimes, but... The scary, scary part of your, the pregnancy is almost done. Two more days. Well, one more day. Tomorrow and then Friday I'll be 13 weeks. So, I am ready. I'm just so ready. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!